Slater, fucking arm, Adam Zeno, I mean, fuck! Exactly, you fucking sat man. Co host, introduce yourself. What's up, Big Jack, Pigeon Feet? The only fucking gangster can pull up a Beatles top in this fucking haircut now, I mean. <laughs> right, we're about to get my main event now, man. Make some noise! Oh, well, man. <laughs> right! On the fucking left, out of South Shields. <laughs> and on the right, from London, top way around here. Jack Sexton. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big, you go. Oh, Jack. Little Pam, little Pam, have you just uh -huh. come off the juice? It's just your chest is deflated and your t-shirt looks loose. <laughs> <laughs> little Pam, little Pam, do your bot fumes a meth? If you give it AIDS patient bulimia, this is what you would get. <laughs> <laughs> little Pam, little Pam, I've seen zombies on Resident Evil with big on muscles, man. <laughs> You must be taking bodybuilding tips from Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> little Palm, little Palm. Okay, okay. You're not little at all. But when you stand next to me, mate, I make you look small. See, <laughs> Pam was devastated when he found out hip hop had a new muscle bound power player. He watched me in the Triple B battle, was still crying about it hours later. Now you know how Jason felt when Tommy joined the Power Rangers. <laughs> I actually smiled at that punchline. So no wonder at uni you got plenty chew. I was 10 when Power Rangers is cool. You would have been 22. <laughs> <laughs> See, Pam used to do some real cringing shit like flash his body to try and get girls into your bed. Like going up his t-shirt to scratch his forehead. <laughs> now when I walk in the room, you sit there perfectly still and quiet. It's like you're dead. Because you know if you did that gay shit in the Northeast, you'd wake up with a horse head. <laughs> when Pam walks past the mirror, he has to pass again. He gives people directions when they don't even ask for them. <laughs> Earlier that day he was flexing his bicep with a girl like, baby, you don't be scared of touch. Then I walked in the room, pretending he was doing his hair. <laughs> See now every time he's tipsy, he gets real bitchy behind me. Back he tries to diss me and see he's gonna hit me. But in real life he avoids Jack like someone that doesn't drink whiskey. <laughs> so twin shotguns to your face if you try and mess. Bang, bang, hit you with the right left. Everyone's thinking, is Jack spitting gum bars? Ah, uh, yes, I'm spitting gum bars, but I'm talking about my biceps. <laughs> so you shouldn't try test, because if we did a try test, you'd feel miserably, like Gimli in a high test. <laughs> that windshield wasn't working for you, maybe you should try test. <laughs> you know the evolution poster that goes from the ape who? Turns into a man, mate you, look like the guy that's halfway through in stage two. It's big, hairy, walk like you're more. It's like you didn't evolve properly. I'm Blastoise, it's your war total. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was some crazy shit. I used to watch Power Rangers when I was raping his baby sis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick and tired of these faggots always saying the same jokes. I'd never do that because my tongue is acid. You're an ugly, rabid fucking bastard. Your mother's badge looks and smells like mustard gas in an onion sandwich. <laughs> Dickhead from Blue though. Lee Ryan's weak rhyming isn't a true flow. It looks like your parents decided to give you a Jew nose and a bee dies nicked off a Winnie the Pooh doll. Yes. <laughs> in all his lives, he's never experienced nothing as hot as the day he was in the audience for the last ever Top of the Pops. I bet your parents send you wherever you wanted on holes and you are friends with the sons of Madonna and Jonathan Ross. <laughs> soft bat, soft sad, not bag bastard, I'll take it. If there was not our top man, you'd rather be naked. <laughs> Believe I'm too starky for your loose arsey attitude thinking you can actually cruise past me. I land and pard you like I managed the tsunami. <laughs> Shit pussy, you put a poo and poon on it. <laughs> Yo, and uh, to say that I'm Russell Brand's water. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, say that I'm Russell Brand's water. Your mum has the frowns 
Everyone has to frown at her ugly family, poor her, she loves the brown. Always got a couple grams on order, her tits bloody bounce like a couple bags of water and a bitch fucking sounds like a Sunderland support. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> My dad's a barber. Cuts hair when he's making the bread. Yours obviously isn't, judging by the state of your head. <laughs> Fat man, he's dead. Oh. 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 Dead dad jokes are a cheap trick to get cow crowd reaction. If you turn this instead to me, you'll find plenty of my family are gone. My mum's dead to me, so I'm thinking, bar rappers can't be that insensitive, but they all do it. It's like they had a personal grudge against your dad. There must be something more to it. So I end up digging up a lot of shit, like how he used to touch kids after he got them pissed. And the don't flop rappers are the ones he used to bother with all the way through the scholarship. He tricked Bowski into showing his noggin bits with reverse psychology like, bet you haven't got a dick. <laughs> Start of robbing cribs. Blizzard wasn't even born yet. I don't know what the fuck his problem is. <laughs> See, his motto in life is to treat people how you want to be treated. That's why he first started nobbing kids. <laughs> it's ironic that Scouts have a reputation for being thieves, because when he took a trip to Liverpool, he stole Ocean Springs virginities. <laughs> like Charlotte and Gaz all the way around because you were just his banker when he didn't pull in the playground. <laughs> he knew where all the kids were on some Tom Tom shit. You were the only one that he used a condom with. <laughs> Sad, true, but he didn't get mad. You knew it because you were getting fucked up everybody else's dad too. <laughs> Celebrities were always around your house when you were a nipper, so all the kids in the playground were bitter. He served breakfast to Gary Glitter, Ian Huntley came round for dinner. So your dad's mates follow a lot of kids. I'm not talking about Twitter. <laughs> he used to go on webcam like Amanda Todd and flash a man you know. I just wish you did what she did and rammed your gob and drank a bottle of bleach like it's a pan of broth. <laughs> See? <laughs> I was gonna come out here and see I fuck your girlfriend in this battle, even though she is vile. But then I realized that's like admitting to being a pedophile. <laughs> And I know it's real disrespectful to talk about a dead man in a battle and see he used to ride on kids like a saddle but I thought that was a dumb thing these days. Jimmy Savage. <laughs> you know that I'm proud. My dad isn't as dead as most of the crowd through the whole of your rounds. <laughs> You may have a little local name and get support, but outside the place that you were born, you're as famous as an AIDS victim or dwarf because you're as gay as you are short. <laughs> you're like a fake Craig David if they painted him in chalk. <laughs> I'll blow up the Angel of the North and rape it in the anus with a fork. <laughs> Fuck Jack Sexton! Your mother's bad sex and smells like crab dress and it's got that clam essence. She somehow managed to make your dad pregnant. <laughs> She's, <laughs> She's transgender with a man's member looking like Rab Nesby if he shagged Beckham in Manchester. Ooh. While he was under Alex Ferguson. Literally while he was under Alex Ferguson. <laughs> Tell that fat slag she needs to clip her wild hair. Tell her she needs to quickly trim it down there because it feels like I've been French kissing Philip Albert. <laughs> I'm funny. A bit, lad. Your mummy and shit dad look like Sprungy. And Big Jack. <laughs> your skin's so fluorescent, I confused it with your hat. <laughs> you neon, Jack. You neon, Jack. I get it! I get it! <clears throat> Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> Pam used to have long blonde hair and big muscles, but if you ever compare them to Thor, that's a mistake. Because you're more like Loki, a slimy, arrogant snake. <laughs> so if you act like you're better than anybody here, you retard, like Loki did to the Hulk in the Avengers movie squad, I'll grab you by the ankle, and usually hard, and smash you off the ground. Puny god. <laughs>
<laughs> the intro track on Get Slated 2 was the third track on this playlist through. It was really weird and didn't make sense. Did you ghostwrite Andy's Facebook status? Who's <laughs> 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 this tall, has pale white skin, a soft voice, and likes hanging around with dwarfs? Lego lass. <laughs> but you fit the bill too when you hang around that Pedro lass. Uh, See, you're such a bore with your rhymes. Listen to your full album? I'd rather spend a week in the Moria mines. Cook for every goblin in there, all four meal times. Do all of the cleaning, most be our shines. Left three cave trolls, fuck me girlfriend, and watch us a smash up. Let the boar rock stick his dick in us and light it up like a rasta. With no lubricant before, no after, soon after. Live out the caves one week after. Girlfriend's pregnant with a cave trolls bastard. <laughs> Burns on us like I've been in a disaster with tropical diseases that can only cure in Spain. For the rest of my life, I have to wear a mask and breathe through it like Bane. <laughs> and if I got in that rescue van and your music was playing, and the option was listen to that for 10 minutes or one more time and draw the pain, I'd get out that car, sprint in the caves, and fucking do it again. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of views that don't flop. So you think by now I'd be paying rent for flows? Nah, nah, nah. You didn't even get expenses paid on your main event and shows. Mm. <laughs> See, don't flop was treating me like shit, and you know it's true. It's ironic I bat on Blizzard last time, but I'll call to you. Woo! See, Blizzard traveled first class in the air. You didn't know what to do. They didn't care. You rang up like, can I hop in your car, bro? I can't afford the train fare. He was like, sorry, mate, I've got no seat spare as he drove alone in a minibus there. <laughs> Blizzard was the after party bar. It was high end, full of girls with a fine face. Drinks on Earl night, so he ordered a wine case. Meanwhile, Panther is on a park bench with a bong and a bottle of white ace. <laughs> Where the fuck am I, mate? <laughs> Later that night, Blizzard was in the bed with two model bitches. He was slaying them both. You're piping off a dirty old man to pay for your dope. <laughs> the hotel Blizzard slept in was a five star Hilton. You spent the full night in the front seat of your car chilling. They wouldn't even give you a bed, dude. And you know what I said's true? Wow, they must really respect you. Yeah! 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 Yo, he's a little git. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when fans read the internet. <laughs> you love poo hole love. Fuck <laughs> your blizzard bar and your four bar, cause I'm too cold, bruv. Four. Oh fuck. <laughs> Your fat granny looks like Adamsey with a fanny. <laughs> Northern bitch, I swear I shagged her. Short as shit with a bare wide factor, so bald she can't even get a hairline fracture. <laughs> this don't feel like a battle event, it feels like a wrestling function. I rap better, you munchkin, that's how I became a legend of something. Jack Sexton is nothing apart from rotten at rhymes. Your boring as possible life is lower than the Geordie property price. I thought your mother's bottom was nice. Till I saw it for the first time proper in light. It looks like someone tried stabbing a chocolate pie with the top of a bottle of pint. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that bitch often has intercourse with a bottle of chili sauce. <laughs> that's why I can, that's why I kebab spiced falafel, my friend. You look, you look like a camel that's bent. <laughs> this guy's faggy head's like a giant that tries scrambling eggs. Jack, you're rapping slightly average at best. You rhyme in battles as well as tight as Bramble Defense. Woo! Yeah. 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 Time, get your <laughs> Time. Yeah, Jack said, turn the second, Pumper the third, so I'm going to put it. 
gets slated, we're just going to announce the winner for Jack Sex and Best Pants. If you enjoyed the party, please. Woo! Sick battle main event of the night, but the win goes to Pamphlet. Yeah! Get this guy's fucking CD, it's sick. Woo!